Hey guys, so um, just a quick clip today. I want to give you guys a, like a little snapshot of something that happened a couple days ago. Um, I was working, I was cooking and working my own board, and uh, you know, I had an associate that really wants to learn board. Um, and he, this associate was an order taker, and he kept coming to my board, and when he was relaying orders, he would open up other packaging for me, you know, and uh, he would ask me questions like, does this one, what kind of bag does this go in, or, um, you know, two napkins for protein, right? And he's kind of asking me questions. And, um, you know, at first I thought it was cool because I obviously I needed the help. And then I started to think about just um, this kid's mindset, you know, like what is it, what is it like for somebody to not wait to get trained you know like this kid is really putting it on himself to um, find opportunities to practice what he wants to practice and to practice what he's already learning and um, not only did I think that was super cool I also feel like that's an opportunity for all of us to reflect and go am I am I waiting for somebody to come and make time to teach me how to do X, Y, and Z, or am I putting it on myself to learn and then finding opportunities? And sure, as I find opportunities, um, I'm probably going to be, I'm probably going to have questions. And um, you know, as I have those questions, I'm going to need to find people that can help me answer them. But um, you know, am I finding time for opportunities? You know, I was recently um, teaching a third man's class at the university. And uh, a, a lot of thirds ask me the question, like, what, um, what do I need to do to go from third to second, you know, or what do I need to do to go to um, be successful? And, uh, you know, it kind of stemmed from this idea, but it's, you know, something that I've had um, in the back of my mind for quite some time. It's like in, in order to be successful, you're learning how a lot of it has to be self-guided. You know, if you're, if you're waiting on the sidelines and waiting for somebody to come and tell you like, Hey, today we're going to learn this and, um, it's going to be like this. And you're ex expecting for all of your development to happen that way for somebody to, to, uh, basically be taking time out of their day to come and develop you then you're leaving all of the responsibility to somebody else you know that's not to say that that shouldn't be happening yeah of course managers leaders like it we should all be taking time out of our day to try to figure out how to add value to other people but on the receiving end like i'm talking as the individual our ability to look at ourselves and what we want to learn and where we want to be and then put it on ourselves to go out and try to figure out how to practice that and then through that process um you know i feel like you're you're going to engage your mentors and you're going to ask them questions through that process i feel like you're way more likely to quickly be successful or to quickly be where you want to be then at the other end where you're kind of just waiting for people to come and develop you um, and I see this happen honestly across the board you know like with a, a, you know an example of fourth people you know f um, one of the things in their file is to learn how to interview well I have two different kinds of force there's one fourth that is going to go okay um, John, the next time that we work, can you show me how to find applicants? You know, can you show me like who do, where do I go to find people to call? You know, and we work together on Friday, and as soon as I walk in, they're there and they're ready, and you know, it takes me maybe five minutes to show them where, and then on their own, they're going to schedule the interview, and they're they might be practicing on on their own, or they might schedule an interview and then call me to ask me like hey I scheduled my first interview do you have any tips like um, how would you go about starting the interview or maybe um, they come and ask me like hey John I really want to practice interviewing is it okay if I schedule somebody for Friday at 4 p.m. and I'm gonna be like yeah Friday sounds good and then they go out and they schedule the interview on their own and yeah it's on my plate to actually make the time that day but I didn't have to do 
any of the back work to actually kind of hold their hand to go like, hey, we work together Friday. Maybe Friday would be a good day for you to schedule an interview. Like none of that stuff needs to be done by me, you know, and it gives me confidence that they're in charge of their own development, you know, and at the end of the day, who's going to learn faster how to interview? Is it the person that's going to put it on themselves to figure out how to get it done and they're going to be involving their mentors to answer questions and they're going to be involving their mentors to spend time with them or the people that are kind of sitting on the line sidelines going like it's up to my manager to come and tell me that today we're going to learn how to interview and that he already called the applicant or he's going to call the applicant with me like um I don't know I just think there's there's something there and you know this kid gave me it was kind of like uh just in my face, you know, because it's been a long time um, since I've seen somebody at that level practicing stuff on their own, you know, and um, hey, I've seen this kid standing by the third grill looking at somebody work board and asking them questions about where something goes, like he's very interested in his development and he's interested enough that he's not going to wait for somebody to go like, okay, today we're going to teach you board. He's going to do as much as he can as on his own so that the day when that does happen, he all he's already ahead of the curve. He already has a very basic understanding of what needs to happen. So that day, he's going to capitalize on that training session way more than somebody that goes like, okay, I want to learn board, but I haven't been taught how or I haven't you know, I haven't been given the basics. I still have no idea how to do what, and they, they're not going to go out and ask questions. Um, and I, I really want us all to be thinking about who we are in that space. You know, are we waiting for somebody to come and develop us, or are we going to be in charge of our own development? Are we going to be in charge of how quickly we move up? Um, and trust me, if there's something that bothers you at the store or something that you want to work on not just at work but in life if you're getting after it and then you're spending those times with your mentors asking them questions about the things that you're already working on you're way more likely to find value in that mentor rather than going to a mentor and going like I have no idea what to work on I need an assignment I need this I need that well you, you might you may only have 15 minutes with a mentor every week you know every other week like how how often do you really get to spend quality time with the people that are helping you most of the time it's very rarely and sometimes when it's off of work it's like we go to dinner and then we spend half or more than half of the dinner talk like small talking and then we ask what we should be working on and then they give us an assignment and then that's all they can do because we haven't been putting in the work to actually come back with meaningful questions and, you know, like a burning desire to really understand like how to get better at the stuff that you're already practicing. If you're not already practicing any of that stuff, then man, it's going to be super, it's going to take way longer for somebody to help you. You know, it's kind of like, um, and this is maybe the last example that I'll give. If you're on the grill and every day that you get on the grill you're not actively pursuing a goal you know and you're waiting for somebody else to come and give you a goal you're just wasting all of your time that you're on the grill you know you're just not getting better sure you're practicing on the stuff that you're already good at probably but I think we all know what are things that are could take things to another level you know whether that's shaking off the gloves or um, aiming to have a better cheese fold or to line up our bun better or to center our onion a little bit better. Um, if, we're, if we're already in the pursuit of getting better at all those things, then when you actually get to spend time with a mentor, you can ask them about their techniques to work on all that stuff. You're not just going with them to go like, hey, I need direction on where to start, you know? And I know there's balance in everything and there's, you know, different situations and everything, but I think at the end of the day, um, you know, what I'm trying to get across is that there's people out there that are super hungry. There's people out there that um, 
want it so bad that they're not going to wait for somebody to come and give them permission to start working on the stuff that they want to work on. There's people out there that want it so badly that they're they're not going to wait to get developed. You know, they're going to start in whatever way they feel like they can start and in whatever understanding that they have and they're going to get out there and they're going to fail and they're going to practice and they're going to use their mentors um, in, a, in a very efficient way because they're going to their mentors with actual questions about things that they're already practicing and they're taking all of the development off of the mentor's plate or most of it you know they're they're they might be setting up situations where the mentor has to add value but it's not up to the mentor to find those situations or to find those times those times are found by the person that wants the information you know and i think at the end of the day we we put so much weight on the people that are above us and the people that are mentoring and we're putting all of the responsibility on them or most of the responsibility on them to develop us when really if we put that responsibility on us then when we do get to spend time with them or when we're we are setting up time with them we're we're killing two birds with one stone you know like on one end you're actually getting real advice on stuff that you're genuinely already practicing and then on the other end you also get to show your boss or your mentor that you're that interested you are that invested you're invested enough to be practicing on your own even though you haven't been given formal training like how cool is that you guys have no idea how excited I get when I see it and how excited I get when um, I ha I, I'm surrounded by people that are like that you know this kid that was on board super exciting you know when somebody walks into the office and notices that there's been boxes on the floor there for weeks or printers there for weeks or the the office is dirty and they put it upon themselves to fix that and then they come to me and go John I saw that there's these boxes on the floor what do you want me to do about them one has a date and the other one I have no idea what it is like you're showing me that you're putting things on your plate and I'm gonna guide you to help you know how to fix it or what to do about it but you're the one that's recognizing the opportunity like don't put it on your mentor to go hey there's this box here I'm gonna teach somebody how to return this box don't wait you know if if you're waiting then you're 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 behind all the people that aren't gonna wait and if that's where you wanna be cool like I'm cool with it but I also know that most of us at the end of the day when we go home would like to be in a better position would like to make more money would like to have more freedom would like to know more things would like to be more respected um, we we have that inside of us because we want to be the best version of ourselves well don't don't put that responsibility to become a good version on somebody else that responsibility is entirely up to you